in this video we take a hands on look at the iPhone 11, 11 Max, and 11R dummy models. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is the iPhone 11 Max dummy. This is the iPhone 11R dummy. And of course you have the iPhone 11 dummy. Now, although these are just mock-ups that don't actually work, these should represent what we will see come September. And obviously the main thing is the camera. You have that telephoto lens, you have the wide angle lens, and a new ultra wide lens or what we expect to be an ultra wide lens along with the flash and the microphone embedded right into that sort of towel like mechanism on the rear of the iPhone 11. So obviously that new camera module is the star of the show as far as these dummy mockups are concerned. That's really the only big difference between the current generation iPhone and the iPhone 11. So here is the iPhone 11 R mockup. And as rumors have suggested, the iPhone 11 R will have a dual camera module instead of the triple camera module. But for consistency's sake, at least, it retains that same square design. So the current generation iPhone 10R has a single wide angle camera, but here on the iPhone 11R, you have a telephoto lens along with the wide angle lens and the flash and the microphone all embedded into that square module. So let's compare side by side the current generation iPhone models with the iPhone 11 models. And you can see that square module compared to that vertical oval shaped module on the current generation iPhone 10s Max. And here is the iPhone 10R next to the iPhone 11R. I'm interested to know what you guys think. What do you think about these new camera modules? Do you like that square interface? Do you think it looks just too out there? Or do you think it's a good thing to advance the camera technology on the next generation iPhone? Personally, I don't think it looks that bad in the hand. I, I think obviously it does stand out, but I don't think it looks as bad as I would have imagined when I first saw the mockups several months back. Now there are some additional subtle differences with button placement with the current generation iPhone when compared to the iPhone 11. So you'll notice that the button placement is just slightly different when compared to the current generation iPhones. And we noted this back when we went hands-on with the prototype iPhone 11 case, which is right here. So this case actually fits this dummy model perfectly like a glove. And you can see how precise that camera module cutout is on that clear case. It fits perfectly. And then, like I said, all the buttons and everything fit perfectly as well. So you can see the side button and you can see the volume buttons and mute switch and even the cutouts on the bottom are precise. So that's a look at the iPhone 11 R. Now let's have a look at the iPhone 11 and see how that fits inside the case. So it fits perfectly. And like the iPhone 10 R, the camera cutout on the iPhone 11 is precise as are the buttons, side button, volume buttons, mute switch, along with the cutouts on the rear. So folks, what do you guys think? I think this is definitely what we are going to see revealed on stage come September. This is the iPhone 11, 11 Max, and 11R. Now obviously these dummy models only paint part of the picture. We still don't know how Apple is going to utilize these cameras. And while it's highly likely that that third camera is going to be of the ultra wide variety, you can't really say for sure because we don't know the marketing details. We don't know how Apple is going to present this thing on stage come September, but we do know what it's going to look like. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.